<sighs> oh my gosh. Freaking did it. Do not know how we did it. <sighs> Arrived 2020. Oh gosh. <sighs> 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 Woo! Did it, guys? We survived 2020. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, fucking no. Uh, survived 2020. Going down the street, insane lane. I don't think those lockdowns are gonna do shit anymore. I really don't. People have gone freaking nuts. I think the patient's gone, it's done. I don't care if you're an anti whatchamacallit vaxxer. I don't care if it'll. And there goes my mask. Oh gosh damn it. <laughs> Shout outs to people that only use one pair of masks entire time. My oh, gosh. Uh, okay. Uh, now that I had survived that fire fight. Oh gosh. <laughs> Only one thing left. Damn it. Let's see. Did we get the goods? 
is what I'm trying to figure out. Oh gosh, we did get the goods. Okay, we got we got the goods, guys. Don't worry. Damn it! Grab that. Everyone looted all that shit. Freaking hoarders! Where? Oh gosh. What's up, fellas? How you doing? How did how did you survive twenty twenty? <laughs> Holy cow. Did we survive? I'm exhausted. I'm done. The today, kids. Oh. Put that away on the side. That on the side. I think that's a little bit extra. I think that's a little bit extra. <sighs> Cash. What's <sighs> up <sighs> <sighs> so for today, kids? For today's episode, we look back on 2020. Yeah, we look back on 2020. Actually, no. Fuck that. No. No. What do I got that I can throw appropriately? So we look... No, we don't look back on 2020. <laughs> Screw 2020. Up the bottle. <laughs> Freaking PTSD from that shit. Ain't that ain't right, kids? Ain't that right? Oh my gosh. <sighs> kind of a weird thought I should point out to the kiddos who are... Thinking, oh, I'm gonna hoard all the nine millimeter and five five six. Um, um, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What if there's no ammo? This becomes useless. This becomes this just this just becomes extra. By the way, no, this is fake. This isn't real. Gosh damn it! You kids okay? Did you guys survive okay? I hope you guys survived okay. Oh my gosh. Ah. Ah. It's raining where I'm at. It's raining where I'm at, so... Of course, it's, uh... The weather is shitty. Okay. Well, we did it, guys. We did it. We, uh, we survived. Probably one of the trippiest years ever in history of our lifetimes. Now, granted, we've been through worse. I would agree we went through worse. Gosh, we all know we went through worse. But, I mean, we're done. We're done. We're done with this shitty year. We're, di we're, we're just done. Done. No. No, no, and no, and no. Just no, 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 not anymore. No thanks. No thanks. Bye, 2020. Bye. No. Thank you. Screw you. Screw you, 2020. We loved you and we hated you like a random person on the other side of the corner. No. I don't normally shit 2020. I never drink. You made me drink. How dare you? That legitimately is lemonade. Okay. That was legitimately lemonade. I just drank. This tastes like lemonade. Looks do not lie. Anyways. I think I owe an explanation for those of you that brought that came on live. How many days ago has it been? It's been at least a couple of days. I tried to live stream earlier. I was trying out whiskey. Let's just say I learned the hard way. Ugh. I learned the hard way of what happens if you drink whiskey 
while live streaming. And all of a sudden, my brain could not think straight for the life of me. And as a result, your boy... So I had to close up shop because I was about to pass out. Did not have my brain on straight. And you can tell, after what we've been going through this year... Well, yeah, you, you get the idea. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't think straight, fellas. I couldn't shrink. I might not still be able to think straight. After this year, after the shit I say, after everything I say, boy, 2020, 2020, I say serious. I mean, seen so word. Word is fear porn and. Lots and lots and lots of, um, what you call it? Pessimism. If you never heard of that word, look it up. That's literally what a lot of people are going through right now. Like when I was working out today, when I went out to the car ship, car or auto parts place, O'Reilly Audible Parts. Anyways, this is not sponsored by that. When I went and I gone up there and did all that, even the the store clerk, I was like, "Hey, happy 2021!" And he's like, "It's only gonna get worse. It's because your sanity's not over. It's not over, man. It's not over." I swear to the freaking heavens, I wanted to slap him in the face and go, guys. He survived. Be happy. Be happy. Be healthy. I forget what advertisement that was. Wow, I look like an Alex Jones. Gosh damn, the lighting. Forgive me, folks. My lighting is all shat today. I'm just noticing the lighting. I'm looking at my own face and I'm seeing all the lighting. And that's just not, that's just not okay. Not okay at all. Not okay at all. How y'all, how you kids doing? So yeah, that's why I, I, I live streamed. I attempted a live stream anyways, and then I just checked out. So I had this whole presentation dealing. I had to stop it because if I were to continue, I would not make any sense. You would see me go and chunk. I swear that was my first beer. You would see me drunk and I, I wouldn't be able to communicate to you the proper informations that I was wanting to teleprompt. So might be on that. That said though, I got a lot to talk about. I got a lot to talk about because there was more stuff that I was looking up in regards to the comparisons to Cyberpunk and other stuff. And I will say that when it comes to how Cyberpunk kinda happened, because let's just get real um <laughs> Oh boy. Let let me let me just Let me level with you, okay? Let me just level with you. Can I do that? Because it's cold. I'm not gonna lie. It is actually cold right now. Where I live it's just rainy and it's cold. And I can't I'm feeling the chills. Even though I'm used to chills. I don't know. Can, can we just chill? Can we just chill for today? Because I'm down. Typically, this isn't my normal gamer podcast format. I usually just put a blank screen of sorts, and I would just basically just talk, and you would just hear me talking. It would be purely an audible DLA or an audio DLA, but... Just want to let people know, hey, I'm okay. I think I'm alive. It's 2020. It's the end of the world. No, it's not. It's just the world's having a moment. I was thinking it was the end of the world for a good minute. Uh, and then I had to slap myself in the head. Actually, that kind of does look weird. I had to slap myself in the head and realize, no, man, it's not the end of the world just having a moment like your girlfriend okay this is just put it that way it's like your girl your boyfriend is just having a moment
It's just having a moment. And even though it is only... It is only... Ladies and gentlemen, it's only, 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 only... What you call it? Uh... What, what day is this? This is a Thursday, right? Even though it's only a Thursday? Holy damn. I'm so glad it's the end of the year. I'm so glad this is the last year. I mean, okay, okay. In all fairness, in all fairness, whether you're watching this year on stream or you're watching on YouTube in the past, which case is past 2020, this will be the last episode for this year. Woo! -hoo! Now, with that being said, I'm just done with 2020. But I still feel like we got more to come in under our way. That being said, that's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing. I mean, it depends on your perspective. For people, they're like, 2020 has been the best year of my life. 2020 has been the worst year of my life. Whatever your perspective is and where you stand on that, that's up to you. My guy? My girl? I don't know. I just know that I am happy that it's over. It's done. It's done. His, the internet historians will look on this day. Actually, they won't even look at this day. They'll, they'll rip the page out! They get the history book of the 20s, and they just rip the page of 2020. So all the, all the kids go, why is, why is 2020? Why, where happened to the page of 2020? And the principal will be like, 2020 never happened. We do not discuss that unholy sacred 2020. Facts, too. Because let's just get real, 2020 has just been the weirdest year, I think, ever. And yes, Supposedly, we're going to get uh, stimulus checks, I guess. I think. That's the idea. We're going to get more money. We're just getting money left and right. It's a joke. I shouldn't even say that. If you get if you get a $600 check plus more, use that wisely. Spin it. What was it? What was a prepper dude saying at one point? I was, I was watching some... Just out of pure boredom. I was watching some prepper dude. And he was like, Oh, invest in assets. <laughs> Get some cryptocurrencies, get some bullets, get some securities. Oh, it's going to be the end of the world. No, it's not the end of the world. Just, yeah, I would recommend, though, be cautious because people are nuts. People are stupid. Because let's just get real. It's because of stupidity that we're here. But if you're in a place like, you know, in a place that's open, that didn't shut down, and you're actually able to get back to normal life, my friend. You are the lucky one. Even then, I still be cautious because people tend to run. Oh gosh, it's a hellhole up here. I'm gonna go over here where it's nice and shiny. People in nice shiny places are like, whoa, what the hell are you doing in my place? No, 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 no way, no way. Anyways, I'm sorry. You can tell I'm energized. Can you tell? I'm energized, I'm pumped, and at the same time, I'm just like exhausted. I'm done. This year. Stupid. I mean hell. If you want to get into shooting, if you if you're into hunting gathering, um, this is a fake cartridge too. If you want to get into a uh, hunter gatherer mentality, <laughs> like trying to practice on learning how to aim straight without it destroying your wallet. Holy shit. Hmm. That said, I'm I'm done with 2020. I did get a little surprising gift though. Kind of a flashback to simpler times. A PS Vita. The Dreamcast of our generation. Not even joking about that statement either. This is literally like the Dreamcast. This thing came out. Sony was insane about it. Yeah, it's gonna be like the PS people better! Before the Switch, there was the PlayStation Vita. If you've never heard of or seen this, it's because it discontinued. Strangely enough, you can still access their store, which I find kind of funny at the same time. It, it just, it, it's kind of funny. Here you go. 
You can still access the PlayStation Store. And the sirens are still going. Yeah. <laughs> and in case you're wondering why I have a PlayStation Vita, it was because it was given to me. That and the true purpose of my PlayStation Vita is kind of stupid, but it's just a me thing. I like to use it to play classic PlayStation games and some Vita titles that I did enjoy and same with PSP titles that are yes backwards compatible and you could also break code break I should put it out and hack into the system and uh yeah <laughs> I'm sorry I'm da I'm tired <laughs> is everyone else tired I'm tired too I'm tired of this year. I'm tired of um, 2020. Anyways, but you get the idea. It's um, it's it's kind of funny how we came. Like, okay, if I'm gonna be honest, this year could have been. But I think uh, for a lot of people, the reason why we want it done and over with is because it took a lot of emotion, a lot of energy got drained. Now, granted. There's people out there that are like, y'all are the wusses. I've been studying my majors and cybersecurity and all that other stuff. Which in that case, good for you, my good sir, or ma'am, or lady, or in between, or gender hybrid, or whatever. You, my friends. So, e either way, if, if and if for the people who don't feel like they didn't achieve much in this crazy and fat shit insane world, you want to know something? You're still alive. They're like still breathing. You didn't. To me, that's a victory by itself. So long as you're alive, there is hope. And in many ways, no matter where you are in this batshit insane, crazy, insane asylum called planet Earth, the fact that you're still alive and you're still here and you're still somewhat sane, and I'm just making sure my music doesn't time out, you, my friends, have done pretty well. Need a card up to this. <laughs> kind of can't help you there, bud. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2021. Now, does it mean that because we enter a new year that everything goes away? Nah, not yet. If I'm going to be honest, I see good times ahead, things getting better-ish, but a new norm. Not necessarily what I would expect, but what I do see happening, it's an action-packed opening to 2021. Because we got to be real, there's going to be aftermath effects of what has happened, and... We got to deal with that. And then after we go through the insane uh, action movie extravaganza of 2021, at least the intro, then we have everything else. But let's just get real because there's a lot of damage that was done. <laughs> like, I mean, woof. So whatever, whatever status, whether you're thriving, suffering or surviving or in between all three, in case you're wondering how that works, well, magic. I know that's that's a terrible, terrible, terrible way to look at it, but uh, that's the truth. It's the truth in in many ways. <sighs> trying to find something a little bit more upbeat. I'm trying to find something upbeat. This is literally Parasite Eve soundtrack that's playing, and this one's like pretty chilled. Uh, Resident Evil, that's a bit more... Eh, that's kind of chill. That gives off the vibes I'm looking for. Kind of. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. I shouldn't, at least. This is a PlayStation 1 game. Who copyrights PlayStation 1 games? Hmm. 
That being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and do a thing. Yes, people are wondering, yes, we are going to play some video games tonight. Um, I was planning on stu- I- been basically just studying and working out all day today. What am I gonna play? I do not know, cause I am just happy I'm alive. And because I'm happy that I'm alive, I just come out here to the internets and say, Hey, how you all doing, fellow survivors of the apocalypse? It's insane what has happened, but we're still alive. Actually, shoot, might as well show you this game. Damn. Ah, oh, never mind. It decided to break. Oh, nope, it works. It works. I was debating whether or not I should play Resident Evil 3, which honestly wasn't that bad of a game for 2020. I mean, gosh damn, the the bar for... <laughs> well, we are in the Chill Out Gamer Podcast segment, so we might as well be a Chill Out Gamer Podcaster. So who here... Th what is y'all's game of the year? Honest to heaven question. What is your game of the year? Because I can tell you it's pretty small. <laughs> it's small. <laughs> it's a... Uh... If I'm going to be honest, I'm not entirely blown away at the games that came out this year. There were two games. Well, maybe three. I haven't played the third one, though, because I don't have a PS4. But two of them I did play, I was impressed with. Doom Eternal, which came out right when this pandemic started, now that I'm thinking about it. Dash damn. Uh, and then there's uh, Doom, or yeah, there was Doom Eternal and Resident Evil 3. And those are kind of like my, my two personal favorites of this year. That came out. But I think our game of the year were the Ness. And I know we had The Last of Us Part 2, but... Do I need to explain why that did not work out? Oh gosh, Last of Us. Oh, poor Ellie. She got wrecked. Oh. I... I don't hate The Last of Us Part 2. But I think it's not as good as... People... I, I don't I don't get... I kind of get why it got Game of the Year, and I at the same time don't. Um, gosh. Let me just... Let me just stop talking so you... I know, I'm sure you guys want to stare at my face, but, um, gosh damn it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play something and then talk while I'm playing. What, what's easy to play that's, um, <sighs> actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play this game. I I want to make a video talking about Cyberpunk's little delay fiasco. So, a while back, when my buddies were talking to me about what happened with the console versions of Cyberpunk 2077, I was flashback to a game that came out many years ago, in a different decade, in a different time period. And it was actually kind of interesting because... I remembered there were two games that came out, Duke Nukem Forever and Aliens Colonial Marines, both of which were games that were heavily delayed. Um, I know with Duke Nukem, it was like a 12 year development hiatus, and that game got delayed so many times it's a joke. So as a result, what ended up happening was, uh, and the reason why I say that game in particular reminds me so much of what's happening currently right now is purely based off the fact that uh, you had a game that was originally announced to come out in early 2000s. There was an E3 trailer and I had shown it on the previous episode, although I didn't publish that episode because of what had happened earlier. But if you want to look it up, there's a trailer for Duke Nukem Forever 
and they originally were going to release it back in the early 2000s. What happened was that they wanted to get the latest and greatest tech for this new Duke Nukem game. So they delayed it to the next generation. And delayed it again, and then again. And keep in mind, Duke Nukem was popular back in the day. It was one of those retro old school classic shooters that came out back in the 80s, 90s, and it kind of fitted that time frame, that time period, and that era. Where he would make uh, cheesy action movie quotes. Uh, you know, it was a classic FPS, Duke Nukem 3D. Who has not played that game? If you haven't, then I'll forgive you. Because it's, it's a relatively old game. But Duke Nukem Forever was sort of the uh, follow-up hit that everybody wanted to play. Or at least the people that were familiar with the Duke Nukem license. It wouldn't be until years later that Gearbox acquired Duke Nukem Forever, restarted everything because of how old the game was by that point, and made their own version of it. And when the game came out, it, had, it got a lot of hate due to the fact that it had terrible graphics. Uh, the gameplay just did, wasn't as good, and it was not very well built. It, it, the game did try to keep series what Duke Nukem was but I mean despite the little fun little gimmicks and things you can do with it the game didn't hold up very well and it didn't really represent people the Duke Nukem fans thought was actual Duke Nukem now granted there was a lot of sex scenes and a lot of sex jokes and also wall boobs not even joking it's le there was legitimate wall boobs in the game there's a section where you get into an alien ship and you have to um, go in and uh, you basically have the chance to slap wall boobs. This was back in 2013, 2012, some time ago. And keep in mind, this is Gearbox. This is, these are the people that made Borderlands. And I'll be honest, aside from them playing, doing Borderlands, I remember Gearbox having their hand in the Brothers in Arms series, which was okay. And having their hand on Half-Life, that was how they first started, I should add. But then there was another game that, and this one strikes more so personally to me, because this was actually a game that I was personally looking forward to. Gearbox had Duke Nukem Forever and Aliens Colonial Marines uh, in combination. And what was interesting that happened was that for Aliens, they actually took the money that Sega had provided them to make Aliens Colonial Marines and utilized it to Borderlands. Think about how shady that is. That is a shady practice, I'll be honest. If I was a publisher going, hey, I'm entrusting you, the developers, to do this game for me. And the developers would be like, or Randy Pitchford, okay, yeah, we'd be able to do that, Bill. Yeah. I don't think he sounds like that in real life, but you get the point. Um, but but that's pretty much what had happened in the development stage. However, the catch is they didn't fully focus on aliens. They actually had that in a side project. And they actually gave the aliens game to another developer who was completely new to it. Sure, they Gearbox did some development themselves. They written a story which in all fairness, uh, seemed to be sort of like a weird fan fiction thing to explain a lot of plot holes between Aliens and Aliens 3, even bringing back a major character that was allegedly killed off in Aliens 3. If you've ever seen the movies, you know who it is, if you have not. Basically, he was um, Dwayne Hicks, Hicks from uh, Aliens 2. He had died at three in the beginning. This is like the very beginning of the movie. He basically just randomly died in a pod. And when the game originally came out, there was no explanation to how he survived other than, oh yeah, I got out of that escape pod. By the way, hi, I'm a reference from the previous movie. Not even joking. I wish I was joking when I say that, but no, that was legitimate the case. Also, here's the fan service everywhere. Like we, re we revisit, uh, the colony we revisit the ship we revisit all these locations which you would think would be a good thing but 
It actually made more plot holes to the original Aliens game than basically solving them. Which wasn't good. I, I'll, I'll just straight up point out, this wasn't good. This wasn't a very good story writing. Naturally, though, that wasn't what was bad about Colonial Marines. And Colonial Marines, yeah, its story was pretty mané. The problem that Colonial Marines had was just how buggy the game was. Now, granted, back nowadays, if you get it on PC, it is not as buggy, but it's still buggy. It's still pretty... Not so good. Not not so good. Not so good whatsoever. And what had happened was not only was this uh, game uh, uh, essentially uh, functionally broken, like you're clipping through enemies. The AI got broken by a misspell. For those of you who are trying to get into code, yes, misspelling your code will fuck up shit. Are my French? I know I'm cussing more than I should, but you get the idea. Uh, coding actually does get affected if you misspell. What had happened was that on the E3 trailer for Aliens Colonial Marines, and it was a very impressive E3 trailer, they had built that E3 trailer based off of pretty much nothing. Like, the assets that were used in that trailer, the maps and everything, they practically used that all purely for the presentation. It wasn't a revelation of what the final product looked like, which you would expect, kind of. But it was worse. Like, between the E3 trailer that was shown and what actually was released, everyone was shocked just how broken Aliens Chloe Marine was at launch. The game didn't function properly. Certain guns didn't go out properly. The AI would get in your way or would not work in general, in which case you're just sitting there seeing an enemy be like, I see you! And then they run off the direction. And like the type of stuff that we're seeing today with Colonial Marine, or I'm sorry, Cyberpunk 2077, similar stuff like that happened with that game. Similar stuff like that, with the AI not functioning properly, with certain gun mechanics not functioning properly. Uh, even a boss fight where you're fighting the queen in a mechanized suit, you're able to clip through the, the alien. I'm not sure if they patched it or not, but there was no detection whatsoever. You could literally clip through the enemy boss, so he'd be trying. To, so the queen would try to be killing you, but you just clipped right through her, and now all of a sudden you're in her uh, diggity. And then, uh, yeah, you get the idea. It's it's a joke. Even the final boss was literally just press a button and eject your ass out of the ship. No shooting her, no challenge or nothing. Just get around her and press the button. That's basically the final boss battle of this game. Now granted, they did eventually release a DLC to kind of help fit in the plot holes. But even then, like the story and the voice acting was pretty dull. In my opinion, it was, the voice acting was all over the place. They even get back the actor who played as Hendrix from Aliens. And he even he kind of felt like he was a little dry when it comes to his voice acting quality. Which is not that good, especially when you think about just how much money this guy probably got paid to read these voice actings. So with that being said, uh, I don't have Duke Nukem Forever, but I do have Colonial Marines. And I could actually speak to Colonial Marines because this is the game that, back in 2013, I was looking forward to. This is also, I should point out, a game that a lot of people who I knew at the time were hyped up about. And when it came out broken, everyone was shocked just how broken of a state it was. Spoiler alert, it was so bad that you hear this talk how GameStop's now accepting refunds for Cyberpunk 2077. Low-key? They accepted full refunds for Aliens Colonial Marines. In credit. Not in cash, in credit. Mainly because of the fact, and this could have been just my particular case, but I was fortunate enough to be able to get Colonial Marines to be refunded to me for 60 bucks. Well, $60 credit. And put that credit towards at the time Dead Space 3 which was coming out I think a few months later or it came out before I don't I, I don't remember when that came out 
but I remember it pretty well. And it, it was funny to me to see that game broken as it was. And it really was a shame. It was a shame. It was a disappointment. Did I have some enjoyment from it? No, not really. No, not really. I'm actually curious to go back and play it now because it's been so long since I've played it that I barely remember the gameplay or the game in general. But I do remember how broken it was. I remember the hype surrounding that game and I remembered the game in general. Uh, it just... It was a rough, hard lesson of do not pre-order a game until it finally comes out. Until it is out and you see the legit reviews, you see all the people talking about it, don't pre-order a game. And, and even now, like back then, okay, it makes sense why you would pre-order it. While, while I'm talking, I'll go ahead and get the game started. Um, back in the day, it would make sense. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It would actually make sense for you to pre-order the game because it was in physical copies, but it wasn't. Well, nowadays, you don't have to pre-order anything because it's all digital. So if, if, even if you couldn't find it in real life, you would still be able to uh, play it digitally. Hell, I think digital right now is the answer and the way to go in this lockdown stages of our... Now, granted, there's mods to fix uh, the AI, but I don't want to do that. Just purely based off the fact that I want to show this game raw and uncut. Sega. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I want to real quickly turn off the music. Oh shit, can I not exit out of the game? Actually, yeah, I can exit out of the game. For some reason wouldn't let me... Preparing to launch? I want to pause the music? Yes, there was an error, I know. I know, computer, I know. I know, PC, but you shut it down! How dare you! Magic. Okay, I had to shut down the game completely, so... <sighs> okay. Sega. So we're gonna play this game. And I'm gonna demonstrate you just how... Now, granted, if you went on YouTube... Nvidia. And you look up uh, the E3 trailer to this game... It will make more sense why I say this is not what it was represented of the final release. Or why the E3 trailer of the final release. Let's see. Uh, in range. Mission select. Start a mission. Keep in mind, I did play this before I started, just simply because. Ultimate badass! Making making references. I'm gonna do soldier for demonstration. And also, too, another thing I thought that was interesting at the time was the game, for some weird reason, when you up the difficulty, all it did was uh, change the health of um, of the enemies, of the xenomorphs that you're trying to kill. Which was a uh, Eh, kind of weird, in my personal opinion. Now, keep in mind, this came out in 2013. So graphic quality, if you're wondering, why does the game look like shit? It's not just because it's from 2013. GTA 5 came out in 2013. So if you wonder what, so that's um, if you wonder why he looks like a Ken doll, it's because of his his freaking head. I remember playing this game um, on co-op difficulty, and um, it was.
was it was kind of fun, I guess. It was fun to make fun of it together with friends. Back in high school. It even went with the the same way of the credits and the cinematography of the aliens movies. I'll give them credit where credits do with this game. They did try to imitate the game or imitate Rise the movies. Shy, Marines. This isn't a drill and you are in Kansas anymore. Oh gosh, those graphics. See, is stream looking okay? On yes, your feet, is. Marines. For any new Marines. recruits, I'm Captain Cruz, and you are my crew on the USS Sephora. We responded to a distress call sent out seven. Literally a pilot that looks like USS the pilot from the movie. Rhino 23 went in first and encountered heavy resistance. You are the last of the battalion to get popped out of cryo. So I don't want to hear any bitching because we let you lughead sleep in late. Too late. Get combat ready, and I'll see you in the hangar in 20 mics. I'm bitching, Sergeant Sir! <laughs> Name and rank? Corporal Christopher Winter, 118th Battalion aboard the USS Sephora. Even got back some of the voice actors from Aliens, I should also point out. Okay, it's graphically was that right bad. They got a lot of bloom on this version. How are you feeling, kid? I'm feeling good, Captain. But I'm worried about two three. Can't That's wait good. to get out of 2020. Catch up with Rhino two one. We're trying to get the Sulaco flight recorder so we can see who caused this. Sir, what happened in there? We shit the bed. Attention, chicks and dicks of the USS Sephora. As of right this second, Rhino 2-1 and Rhino 2-3 are fighting to get a hold of the situation we're in. We don't leave Marines behind. Over the next two hours, we're gonna send a series of dropships over to aid with Kazavak on the USS Sulaco. Sir, the Sulaco was reported last seen over Fury 161. How is it back over this planet? Lieutenant Reed, thanks for the interruption. We don't know how that boat got back here. Right now, we're worried about what's killing the Marines in there. This is a liquid situation. <laughs> Time you hear that. To Just say, online. Ready up. Good hunting, Marines. Oorah to ash. Oorah! Nice. By the way, literally how they explain some of the plot holes in this game is, oh, we really don't know. <laughs> Listen up. What I need right now is information. No heroics, no bullshit. I need you to be my eyes in there. Report back anything you see so I know. Okay. Roger that. Tell Rhino 2 1 I'm en route to their location. Okay, Captain. Uh. Hello, you beautiful bastard. How you doing today? Yes, we're gonna kick 2020 in the ass. Okay, sensitivity. <laughs> that jumping animation, though. <laughs> I'm beating myself to death. Anyways, get a shotgun. Now, I just have to point this out to people. Because I know people are going to be probably tripping wondering why the enemy is not being hit. So, two things wrong with this uh, game. Now, I will give it credit. It's not as... Oh, uh, what do they call it? Not frame rate drips. When they originally released this game... And by the way, if you're wondering... Why does this game sound look so grainy? Literally at default, film grain is like up to the max. Take out fill grain. Activate that. Ow, oh, you bitch. I'm trying to keep the light thing on so I can monitor it. Okay. Do you would you like to apply settings? Oh yep. Would you like to revert settings or will be restored in 15 seconds? Yes, I would want to keep Yes. So now we got the film grain off. And as you can see from graphical fidelities, it doesn't look too bad. At least the 360 version, I feel like, was a lot worse. But in case you're wondering why people didn't really care for this game, there's one thing they did. When it comes to the sound effects of this game, it's all stock from the movie. 
So literally the gun sounds you're hearing is literally gun sounds and scream effects that you would hear in the original Aliens film. Exhibit A, holding down, uh, if you listen carefully, you'll hear the sound effect looping. For example, Notice that? So there, there, that was one, that was like one alarm bell's like, okay, it's cool that they're bringing back the sound effects, but that don't look right. And you would be right. It also doesn't look right. Another thing too, even though you're aiming down sights, that doesn't necessarily mean you're hitting the same target. Now, granted, because this is a, this game's graphics aren't top tier quality, they don't have the uh, bullet holes. When, it, when, when we get to a xenomorph, you'll see what I mean with the aim down sights. It's very finicky. I'll give this game one credit, though, that it's not PS... Well, what am I saying? This is PS2. Not PS1 graphics, I should say. Shit, boy. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh, Corona! No, wait, no. That's just, that's just a dead body. What the hell just happened in there? Raider 6-5, are you in the air yet? Explosive decompression in the Sulaco! This is Raider 6-5. The umbilical's venting atmo in the black. Looks dicey, sir. Dicey? I need grown-up word. Minutes before a total collapse. Shut it down. Where you? We're shutting it down. The Sulaco. Winter out. Actually, I think they fixed some of the lighting. The lighting is wasn't as. Yeah, they fixed some of the lighting in the PC version. Yeah. Keep in mind. The PC version is literally like straight up the most patched version, to my understanding. Has the AI been fixed? No, it hasn't. He sent you over into this mess as well. Pull up your motion tracker. Tell me what you see. Got you two here. And I'm reading 2 3 to the south. Beyond the hangar, engineering perhaps. Are they moving? No. Wait. I got an unidentified signal. Something's moving. Damn it. Sephora actual. It sounds like 2 3 are holding position. The proper social distancing tool. Reading unidentified movement in their area. At least I would imagine certain Karen's doing. Also, a nerf weird fact: the AI don't actually kill anything. Damn it! Sephora actual. I'm heading into rendezvous with two three. So. What I said about heroics, kid. Actual out. As I had said in earlier. This game does do one thing, is that they have you revisit key locations throughout the previous Aliens film. This takes place after the second Aliens movie, I should add. So with that being said, the game basically is uh, essentially uh, one big Easter egg. So, Sir, there's uh, this an unidentified synthetic splattered across the deck in here. Which half? Well, he ain't saying much. Then find me a half that does. Actual so, out. This is legitimately Bishop, uh, other half that got teared off in the second film. And they recreated the little acid blood, as you can see there. There's blood everywhere. This is the same dropship from the second movie. They literally just recreate this whole section for an arena of the shoot in. Which I'll give them props, that's that's one thing good about this. That they did. I don't remember this section ever being a thing. Good lord, there's a lot of blood. Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding. This is a real horror game.
Oh, you son of a gun. Hold on a second. Being reached out to Astro. I had to go for a second. Got the locker room from Second Aliens movie. Looks like ejected cryo tubes. Hell of a way to wake up. Yeah, they changed the lighting. I remember this lighting not being as good in the 360 version. Okay, they patched that up. Ooh. I know I do not. It's been forever since I've played this. Oh gosh. Maybe over here? Yes! Ah, oh, you bitch! Oh, hold on a second, guys. I'm sorry. I have to respond to this. Ugh. Have to hack into the system. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Yeah, I don't remember the lighting in this game being the way it is right now. Especially last time I played it. Oops, wrong mouse. I'm gonna slay to the aliens. I have to do this one thing real quick. Gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being so extra with the music. <laughs> that music, though, I will. So, what's funny about the soundtrack is that it, in some ways it feels like it's a little lifeless, but at the same time, I feel like, oh, it's actually kind of extra. Definitely nail with that. There we go. Guy. And let's see, location SPR one.
In case you're wondering, yes, kids, I do do. I do wield computers with force. Because 2020 has has in, in has engaged me to it. Okay. It should be Gucci. <sighs> the benefits of working from home. Okay. Now on to the dealie. But like I said, the lighting... Oh, are you seeing this, Captain? Okay, you beautiful alien bastards. Does anybody want to get a shot here? Although I will give it props, they got the whole A camera. Aliens dealy. Where am I? Oh shit. Winner. Oh, you're already dead, torch. bud. Oh, you you're already here. You're already dead. I can tell you right now, you've written death all over it. Oh hi! How you doing? Shoot that thing! Hi, how you doing, bud? How you doing? Oh fuck! Oh, what? Oh, yep. Already, we got our first glitch. What the hell? <laughs> we already got our first glitch! So in case you're wondering what's wrong with this game, that, that was just one. We literally glitched our head through that. Oi, boy! Oi, buddy, how you doing? How you doing? Sam, are you right up here? Where are you, buddy? Let's see how broken your AI looking ass looks like. Hi! Okay, I think he's dead. Wait, 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 let me make sure. Yeah, he's dead. Oh yeah, he's so dead his body just disappears. So yeah, uh, that that was that was aliens AI in a nutshell. <laughs> Gosh damn it! Yeah, so yeah, we already bared witness to two glitches right there. I should add, that's literally just the- oh, hi. Hi, you're totally dead. Uh, where am I going? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm blind. Come on. Come on! Sephora Axel, this is Winter. I've located keys from Rhino 23. We- we glitched her head into here, the ground. I'm actually surprised they didn't there bother to patch that. Missing from Rhino 23. I'm really surprised they didn't decide to patch that. But I guess they're just like, nah, this is dead. He's gone. Sit tight. I got you, buddy. Winner, regroup what's left. Get him back to the hangar and the rest of 2-1. Do not engage. This is keys from 2-3, sir. Our mission was to recover the flight data from the Salaka. Son, I gave you that mission and it's over. Now regroup and come. We have to know what caused this. The flight recorder can get us that. We damn it, Keanu Reeves memes. So squad means you shut your goddamn <laughs> mouth and follow your orders. Actual out. Did he just? Oh no, gosh, the orders. audio glitching. The flight wreck isn't too far from here. We grab it, link up with Rhino Two One. O'Neill, you still there? Damn. Are you guys on the way back? No. You gotta buy us ten minutes to grab the flight wreck. The Marines aren't gonna die for nothing. You've got five to get that recorder and get back here. Keep an eye out for Bella Keys. Right Thanks, the courier. We'll keep an eye out. <clears throat> Thanks, O'Neill. Thanks for doing this. Oh, you son of a bitch. Something's down here with us. Now, you will oh, see in just yeah. one sec how broken the AI okay, truly okay. is. Here we go! And also. Oh, you bitch! You bloody bitch! Keep your away from my gun! Ah! 
Oh, so yeah. Yeah, they just straight up, they just run at you. And in case you're wondering, no, they should not just run straight at you, but they do. Oh, fucking. And I just freaking I double tapped. Straight up, this is literally all they do, is they just run straight at you. Watch our back! What was it? They advertise. Oh my gosh. Okay, little Timmy. Uh, give me one second, bud. I gotta get in this retro bullshit. Go pathetic. Gotta get to the retro bullshit. Oh, the flight daddy is in route. Two mics to you. Affirmative winner. Just save the high fives for the bedroom. Get your ass back here. There's no way the flight wreck didn't tape the assholes that did it to the Salako. If we make it back with this thing, who knows what we'll find on it? Find the cure to Corona. But. <coughs> By the way, I should point out. Just because I'm aiming down the sights doesn't mean it's actually doing anything funny enough. Like, if you look at that, that is a completely artificial with the recoil. It literally still does the recoil thing. But it's... Oh, you son of a bitch. Just because it's doing the recoil... Oh, you bitch! Glitch through windows. Just glitch through the fracking window. You know what's kind of funny? This game doesn't crash. At this point in time, it would crash back into. Oh my gosh, the alien just got crushed by the door. Human engineering. I'll give this game one credit. It doesn't completely screw up to the point where it will no longer work. Damn mind! Get to the umbilical! Yes. The umbilical is unstable, but we can't wait for a burst on that one! Gotta go through it anyway! Explosion lost the door! Literally a defensive mission. It won't open without authorization! Move the speed and he has to run a bypass on the goddamn door, Keith! Weapon caught! Uh, oh. Listen in, I'm on it! Running a bypass! Hello. When I'm pretty sure everybody was thinking the virus is here. Hey, no. Oh, you bitch! Oh, okay. I think they. Wait, did that guy just literally jump from the fucking roof? Huh? Okay, never mind. They fixed the AI I think. Give it, I think. Oh my gosh. Bitch. See, look at this. Look at this. I'm, this is what I'm talking about. All they do is just they run at you. Oh, fuck. 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 Bitch. Suck. A dick. Oh my gosh. No. 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 Yeah. No. Fuck. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. Right there. So literally, in case you're wondering, yes, they all just they run at. And this is something too you'll notice is they literally ignore all your AI hombres. Your your AI people don't even do anything. It's like, hey, look at me, I'm helping. No, you're not. You're not helping. On the dropship. Watch this. Grenade out. Keys, wait. Are you out of your damn mind? Get to the. They umbilical. literally don't help whatsoever. Like, as you see them shooting, right? Oh, okay, never mind. They actually kill someone. Okay, originally they never killed anyone. Okay, they fixed that. I did say this was patched. Why is it? Oh, you have to manually pick it up? What? 
I forgot about that. Fucking run. Just fucking run. Oh shit. What what? No! I was really right there. This game is a piece of shit. <laughs> no, I was right there. I was fucking right there. So yeah, uh This is straight up uh aliens colonial marines, kids. Uh this is how On the drop This is only normal Watch difficulty, this. I should add. This is only normal Jeez, difficulty. Wait. This is only normal damn difficulty. Get to the I'm still wondering. Gosh damn. Maybe I should not even melee. Don't even melee. Do you even melee, bro? Do you even know how to melee? The umbilical is unstable! Actually, we can't wait for more evacuation. Go oh shit, anywhere. there was! Fuck! I feel special, I forgot the grenade launcher. They won't open without authorization! You move to me and has to run a bypass on the goddamn door, Keith! Weapon hot! Okay, this side, we actually kill the bastards. Psycho deck! Psycho deck! Okay, I actually know melee. Oh shit, now it's an ace. So yeah, literally all they're doing is just running on the floor and it's like, Hey, we're gonna leap over and say hi. Oh, bitch. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, so they kind of fix the AI. Usually they just... Oh, what the... They usually would just yeet. Screw... You Xenomotus! Let's get one, pack it up and let's move! Flat wreck is en route to the Sephora! We did it, guys! Right up, team! Move, move, move! Ah, oh, you bitch! I called it! I fucking called it! Oh no! Fuck you, Corona! Literally the best definition for 2020. Uh. This is why you need to wear a mask. <laughs> so you don't fucking get Corona Xenomorph hybrid virus bullshit on the pogo stick. Come on, reach! Fuck physics! E We lost the flight wreck. Keys. Keys had the recorder on him. It was all for nothing. Well, we're not dead. So, you know, there's that. That's literally the best way to describe 2020. This is Sephora Actual. 2-1, can you read me? What just happened in the umbilical? Actual, I got solid copy. We lost Keys. Pretty sure something exploded from his chest. Is Winter with you? Yes, sir. Any yeah, thoughts the on the exploding chest that. issue? All of our Cheyenne-class birds en route to provide Kazavak and ground support. That's almost 80 Marines en route, and we gotta get them somewhere to land. 
The hangar's out of commission, but we got room in the cargo bays. Understood. We are heading to the cargo bay. Two one out. This is why, kids, right. you wear a mask. Follow me. You get a xenomorph coming out of your chest. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this this game is is kind of buggy still. Not as bad as I remember it, but you can tell there's some bugs. I don't take chances. Dear Diary, 2020 has been a shitty year. So much so that somebody had a heart attack. Sephora Actual, we're sending back a live feed. There's no way this is Colonial Marine Tech. It's got way you marking, sir. Oh shit. What? Everything is time-stamped after we received the distress signal from, uh, uh, what's his name? Corporal Hicks. Actual, this is 2-1. What do you make of this? Sir, is there someone else on this ship? I have Bishop sending a signal to weigh you. We ain't got time to sit around and play Sherlock. Get back to the cargo bay. Both of you, out. My god, we are so screwed. This is a tactical Supply black actual. observation. Alpha 023. Do you read? Loud and clear, 23. What's your status? I woke up gagging on a creature like a spider. It wrapped around my face. It's dead, sir. Separated from my squad. It is Any dead, news sir. from the rest of my guys? Rest of us presumed dead. I'm sorry, kid. Rest of Rondo 2 1 are on their way to the cargo bay. Can you get to the cargo bay? Keys? Actual, I'm not sure how to get there, sir. Yeah, it's You're fucking Corona. Get her out. Do your best. Get back she here did. Alive. She did, Actual though. Out. Bitch is dead. O'Neill, what's wrong? It sounded like Bella. She... We had a thing, okay? What kind? Of thing? Sex. Thing. Get up, boys. Get up. There's gonna be some bitch ass aliens over here. Gonna kick everybody's ass. Oh, too bad ass. Oh, hi. Called it. It's alien kitten season, boy. We need to reach the top of the gravity well. And in no case you're wondering, right yes, that's the literally the how they respond. I suck a show up uh, uh, and his tail just glitched to the floor. So as you can see, uh, this game is totally polished. 10 out of 10 for quality of polish. This was a, I should add, same time Dead Space 3 came out. From EA. You a bitch! Did we go this way? I forget. No, we go this way. You a bitch! Bunker, oh, you! Oh, you bitch! Why are you close the door on me? Why are you close the door on me? Oh gosh! How do you make jump scare a person? Oh, you! No, you bitch! What the? That's not what I meant! Fuck you! Oh gosh, damn it! Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm clipping that. Fine. <laughs> you, you jump scare a person by just coming out of the ceiling. What the fuck? I don't know if that was predetermined or what. That's just. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, this is stupid. This game is stupid. D uh, 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 why are you so showing his red? You're dead, right? You dead, though? Yeah, you dead. He did. He did. I love this retro tech, though. Ah, uh, you son of a 
It's alien hunting season, boys! <laughs> that is totally manly. I just saw a shadow. Oh my gosh! What the? Oh my gosh! What the fuck? Where did you come from? They just spawned out of nowhere. Hit. Okay, that was. Uh, I'm out. Nope. I can't fight glitches. Let's just be snitches. Oh, you son of a big horn. <laughs> no. Oh man, I am so dead. I would totally die in real life if I was in an alien invasion. Oh my gosh. Got two chats I gotta look at. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you bitch! Oh my gosh! Okay! Oh, dick. Oh no! 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 Get off of me, sir! Excuse me! Oh, you bitch. You bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, that is inappropriate touching. That is not allowed. <laughs> that is very inappropriate touching. That is very inappropriate touching. Oh, you, why do you close the door? Neil, what the hell are you doing? We need to reach the top of the gravity well! Oh, oh right shit! Next to the cargo base. What the... What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? Fred, the dodgy alien. Oh, shit! They do walk in herds. What the? That that was weird. He lift his tail just. Have they seen these glitches? How they're moving? Oh, you bitch! Ah! Uh, rip and tear my ass, why won't you? Wait, did it actually restart? Oh fuck! What the? He came out of the. <laughs> he came out of the floor! Hi, hi! Anyways. <laughs> he came out of the floor! So, yeah, this is Colonial Marines, kids. This is, um... He just came out of the fucking floor. Are you starting to get the idea? <laughs> oh, you... Oh my gosh. There is, they just, the they just fling there. themselves to you. It's like, so, this is just a weird image, but imagine yourself being the hot guy, and you have all these aliens, sexy looking aliens just coming at you. Oh, you. I swear, I I swear, I'm not even I'm not even trying to pretend. Uh, this isn't even me pretending. <laughs> this is straight up how it's like to play Colonial Marines. I swear. Okay, I'm just gonna say, plug it. I'm running. Thank you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Oh, you bitch. Bitch, bitch, you bitch. See, this is what I'm talking about. They just swamp you. Like, they just like, hi! They just violate, there's no such thing as social... In Colonial Marines, there's no such thing as social distancing. I'm not even, I'm not even excited. I know my buddy Bitzer's like, Colonial Marines, how bad can it be? We need to reach the top of the gravity well. You have not I'll seen right shit yet, Marines. I would like to have a grenade launcher. Hey, at least busted. 
see, like, I'll notice how all the aliens, they just go after me. They, they ignore my boy over here and they just like, nah. This one's got thicker thighs. Let's let's just go with this. Let's just go with this guy. Totally, totally, nothing. That is random. They don't spawn. Okay. In case you're wondering, not to my knowledge, there is no. Left for Dead Conrad, spawn I'd like system. To, I'd like to formally request a transfer on Project Olivia. Though I appreciate <sighs> Rich! Wait him down, get a shot. You my boom stick! Mm. I'm having way too much fun for this game. <laughs> Back in the day, here I am, it's like, Colonial Marines is trash! And I'm actually having a blast. I at least can play it, because it's functional. I see a bunch! Under a yeah, I'm actually really surprised, back in the day, that went... They would shoot. And nothing would actually happen. Like they just tickle it. Tickle me Elmo. Except tickle me Zebramorph. Oh you It would be tickle me Xenomorph edition. If that at all makes sense, I just heard something. Yeah, I'm hearing some shit. Uh, am I going in circles? I think I'm going in circles, guys. Maybe not. It looks like I'm going in circles. Gas door exit! Cover me while I get her open! I know how this works. Stupidly try to defend you, even though they don't go after you. They go after me. See what I mean? They just go. They go after me. It's not him. It's like, yo, there's this other redneck-looking bastard just just chilling here. But no, you go after me. Don't tell me twice, you little bitch. Yeah, little bitch! Salako so Axwell, we have arrived in the first cargo bay. We make it to the control room, we can pop the doors and blow this shit out into the black! You gotta run this stuff by me before you speaking crazy! Yeet. They're in the ceiling. Gosh damn it, they're in the trees. Fun fact, by the way, for, for those of you people who are fans of aliens. Colonial Marines, or at least uh, Aliens, the second movie with the look Colonial look Marines, look is in actually inspired based oh, off of the events of Vietnam. Way. Cause like, in Vietnam too, our soldiers thought we had the superior tech. And yet we still got our asses kicked. Oh you bitch. Fuck. As I was saying before I got my ass kicked, um... But basically with Aliens Colonial Marines, or Colonial Marine variation of Aliens... With Aliens, the second movie... Got some inspiration from the Vietnam War in regards to how the United States basically lost the war. Like, we, we, we had the superior technology, we had the superior weapons, we had this air, air support, and, this and yet we block. lost. You gotta run this stuff by me before and you speak And basically it's the same situation with Aliens with the second Aliens film. 
where pretty much here we have the best of the best, the ultra badass of league. 360 no scope wanna be looking at us. This is so slow at 360 no scoping. And yet somehow we're getting our asses kicked by aliens with hella lit and out of blood. I'm gonna be real. Hold them off while I get this open! No! 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 Get out of my house! Get out of my mansion! And by mansion, I mean my fucking... Oh wait, what am I doing? Close, close, close! Suck a dick! Suck a dick, you alien scum! Scum! Uh... Where do we go? Or do we have to press a button? Oh yeah, we have to press a button. This is Raider 6-5. I have Sephora actual in tow. Suck a dick, you alien bastards! The cargo doors are triggered to close automatically! Oh gosh, so hurry just, up! That alien oh, just shoot shoots. Everybody hang on to something! Unnecessary crash landing. Be advised, actual, the winter made me scratch my favorite ship, sir. It's your only ship, Reed. We secured the boat. In minutes, this ship will be flooded with Marines. Let's go find Bella. Wait, don't tell me I lost the mission because we succeed. Okay, that was weird. But yeah, kids, uh, that was Colony Marines. And keep in mind the way the AI is spawning. This is normal difficulty. Normal difficulty. Now, granted, I'm sure somebody who played this game on a regular basis, an aliens LMOG pro, could probably do this and be like, oh, this is nothing. I not have control of this Marco's weapon system, sir. But I'm not even joking. Oh my gosh, friendly fire, what the fuck? Captain, we are under attack by human forces in the control room. What the hell is happening out there? Oh yeah, and it's not just aliens you have to worry about, it's uh, these bastards. Wait a minute, Utani. So, these enemies actually exaggerate and show off just how flawed the whole recoil thing is. This isn't me doing anything, this is legitimately artificial recoil that's happening here that you're watching. That is artificial recoil in a nutshell. It, it plays very archaic, and yet they do the recoil like it's. Uh, a second volley of missiles just struck the Sephora. We need to consider a full evacuation, sir. Like I it's uh, what you call it. System. I don't even know what you call it. You get the idea. Oh my gosh! Uh, this is an old school style shooter. Did I mention this game was delayed a couple of points at one point? So it has the old school shooter style. Oh, I can't go over the window. I'm not even joking, this is literally the sprint speed. Oh my gosh. Dick. Suck a dick. Suck a dick. This is O'Neill. Do you copy? We just got hit with a massive counter. So yeah, uh, you have to fight you wheeling tiny soldiers. I'm laying low in a storage room. There's even like an complete three. act where you basically do that. All right, stand fast, kid. We're coming to get you. The troops are wailing you tiny PMCs. Those are guns for hire. That wasn't Humans me! the rules of engagement. They're trying to hide it, something, and we sure as hell ain't supposed to be up in here. So exterminate with ex oh, shit! It's blocked! Let's not go that Roger way. Roger that, Bell. Ura to ashes. Get it done. Get it done, Marines. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so American. In case you're wondering. Uh, that's a bad sign. What do you want to do? I don't know. You know how to use a power loader? 
I loaded ordnance a bit during basic. Use a powder loader to open the next door. Should I be worried about that turret? So this is the power loader I was talking about. Same thing from uh, Aliens. And back in the day, this would be considered, oh my gosh, fan service, I get to do the power loader thingy. I'm like, yeah, I know, this is kind of dope. What the hell am I supposed to do again? First of all, I'm not taking chances. Or, can I not? Can I not kill with it? Oh. What am I trying to do? Santa Claus is marching to town. Oh, okay, wait, 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 I know, I know. I know what I'm supposed to do. I forgot. It's been so long! Oh gosh, what am I doing? Wait, why am I leaving? Up. Uh, Up. Uh, okay, that was weird. The game just literally glitched. I don't this to go up! Use the power loader to... Those better be hatched. Okay, they're already hatched. Like, that's sturdy as hell. Okay. Jesus Christ. Can you break? Action. No. Can you see this on our cams? Who are these people? Oh, oh you... Fucking a-hole, how you doing? <laughs> now I'm thinking about it, I think in this uh, future... Wearing a mask may not be the bad idea in this in this timeline, at least they wouldn't be able to penetrate. Where are you all you- No! Thank you! No! Where are you? What? Where are you? What the hell? Oh my god! You okay? That is weird. Not to say how many of these are there. Oh shit! There's probably many because he's shooting at something. Yep. Yep. That is the weirdest ass grenade launcher and a shotgun I've ever seen of all time. Oh yeah. Uh, what is that? That was a grenade. Dr. Stanton, I'm By the way, this is how you if you listen to audio I'm recordings. It for one simple reason. There's nothing to be nervous about. I understand what you're going through. No, you don't. A few weeks ago, I practically was. You really don't. And in case you're wondering what Wayland Yutani can be compared to, Umbrella. Wayland Yutani is Umbrella if Umbrella evolved into space. I'm having way too much fun for this game. Oh, you bitch! Oh, you bitch! I saw you! Ha! Ah, you think you could give me Corona? Why won't you? No! How dare you! Where is the flashlight? There is the flashlight, Dealy. I probably should have just turned that on the entire time instead of just blindly shooting like an idiot. I don't care if those aren't hatch or not. No Corona is allowed. Corona is not allowed. No Corona. Unless it's beer, in which case we might we might chat. Nope. 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 Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. No Corona. I I don't know what I'm doing. Look at me being an idiot with an idiotic game with you guys. <sighs> Almost nine o'clock. Thank heavens. We're a handful of hours, people. To the end of the year. I got an idea. That didn't kill them all. That grenade sucked. The 
appropriate? I think not. So, I'm curious, what do the people... What are y'all thinking so far from this game? If you're wondering, no, I would not buy this game for $60. Bella, Bella. Wait until sale. Oh, come on, it's me. Oh my god, Bella. Is that the thing that was on your face when you woke up? Are you sure you're okay? Corona! <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> this is our blast. Why, why did you do that? Yeah, she had, yeah, she had Corona. We did. Likewise. The Sephora is under attack, and we're on our way down to shut down the weapon system. You sure you're okay? Oh, Neil, I'm fine. Quit being such a little bitch. Let's get moving. Sephora Actual, this is Winter. We've recovered Bella from Rhino 23, but are being fired upon by Whalen Yutani forces. Heading to the bridge. Please advise on fastest route. Winter moves through engineering ahead for the service rail over. Solid copy, Bishop. Heading to engineering. We'll update on status as it happens. Door to door, Winter. I will say, though, in all fairness, one thing I will give this game positive with is that they do go as far as recreating the setting. They do recreate some of the elements of this game visually, the guns. Now, granted, like I said, this talk sound effects, I'm not a fan of. But I do like the fact that they did try. You could kind of see that there was some kind of love in here, but at the same time, you can tell it is pretty dry. Comparing to what was shown in the E3 trailers, the game's kind of dry, admittedly. And even the animations, like, are kind of finicky. Like, you can tell this was made from the late 2000s era game. But at, even in that point, to a lot of people, a lot of people thought this, this was like a PS2 game at 360. In the game. Friendlies, watch your fire and send those way you bastards straight to hell. Also, the oh, dialogue. Time we got some damn backup. Why are we evacuating the Sephora? The Sulaco is firing heavy ordnance at it. If we don't get to the fire, we're yelling so loudly. To one of you, made it to the service rail yet? Almost there, Bishop. I love how everyone is yelling at the top of the voices, and nothing's happening. Also, yes, that dialogue though is, is that cheesy. The dialogue in this game is so weirdly script. Like the the way they script the dialogue in this, you could tell they didn't know anything about military dialogue. They just like, what's the most military do bro thing? This is Sephora actual. Scramble anything you have to get our men out of there. Sephora, abandon ship. Repeat, abandon ship. All personnel on the USS Sephora. Oh, bitch. Captain's radio call is now Sulaco Actual. Oh, oh you bitch. Sulaco Actual, it's Winter. We're on the service rail and moving the bridge. What's your situation in Cargo 1? Winter, we're still sustaining sporadic fire, but stable. Bishop says the Sephora can't take much more of this before the reactor fractures and goes critical. Our boys are counting oh, on Oh, that you. sounds like some Mass Effect problem. What is with the human ships and the reactors? And in case you're wondering, yes, there is a level up mechanic in this game. Can I shoot him in the leg? Oh wait, that's my guy. My Nike! Oh, you bitch! Can I enter the door? No? What? It's rude! Take back your corona, you umbrella wannabe bastards. I forget if this guy has a flamethrower. But yeah, straight up! That- that is artificial recoil. I, that wasn't even me moving the numbstick, nothing. That is artificial recoil, is what I'm trying to get at for people. Probably 
trying to disable the weapons. Christ, what is happening? Guns aren't that accurate. We're killing our own Marines out there. Yes. We no, are. you're just idiots. Where are you, little bitch? Hi, how you doing? I love how he just clearly saw me, he's like, oh, hi. I'm pinned down by morale. Wow, I just double, oh, 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 you. Ya bitch. That leg dance, though. Michael Bay! Oh, right in the dick. Oh, this is a friendly. Did they just literally buzz by this guy? This, this guy. Why am I doing? Madison, think. Crap. Oh gosh, I'm not that drunk yet. I only had one beer, what the fuck? Remember kids, if they can't handle their drinks, there's something shady with them. Just like these graphics. Totally not making the Duke Nukem movements. Oh, I can't change my guns. What the fuck? What are you doing? That completely missed. I suck at grenade launching. Do I have it? Rip. Rip. Oh, you bitch. I did. I will say, though, that sound effect. That sound effect <laughs> is so stocked, it's a joke. Now, uh, no, not the door. Curious, though, has anyone else played this game? And also, too, what would you say is better, Cyber Glitch or this? Because I feel like with Cyberpunk, at least, that game gets patched up, it would be a lot better. And I completely forgot, this at least is a bit more, at least this game is playable to where you, it's not, oh, you bitch, it's not, uh, not glitched up, oh crap. Just wasted my last grenade. Grenades! Reloading! And payback voiceovers, I swear. Oh gosh, they're all over the place. I will say though, I've always loved aliens in the sense that, uh, just the way the film was created, the cinematography, even with the direct thing, James Cameron did a very, very admirable tributing to the original aliens. Like, when James Cameron made the, the second film, he loved what uh, Ridley Scott did with the first one. His take was, hey, let's expand upon it, but also sort of have, put a twist to it. Because obviously... 
because of the fact that obviously the alien was the big danger, what if our main protagonist, who are familiar with the aliens, comes back around and actually fights back the aliens? This time around with trained professionals, Vietnam style in aliens, although I will say the one tactic in aliens that didn't make any sense to me. Have the guy with the NG-42 looking weapon, and I'm not even joking, the gun that they... The minigun for aliens. What was funny about it was that the gun they used for that is an MG-42, a German machine gun that was used in World War II. But they've repurposed it and put it as a futuristic gun. But regardless if it's an MG-42 or not an MG-42, the only thing that goes in my mind I think is kind of weird to me. Why is it that they have that guy go in first? Like, what's stopping some schmuck or some alien literally right next to the door grabbing the barrel of the gun and yanking it and surprising the dude in front of him? Like, even if the guy behind him has the the pulse rifle or shotgun or whatever, he ain't gonna do much because his buddy's in the way. Collateral damage, Marine! <laughs> That's all I can think. Oh, fucking hell. Like I said, collateral fuck. Holy shit, that was fucking in front of my face. What the fuck? Blit. <laughs> the fuck? What is with this game? What is this game? Ain't being collateral damage to you, bitch. Come on. That's pretty sad. What the? Where the fuck did you come from? What the fuck? What the fuck? Pardon my French. I am so sorry. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Cyber Glitch 2020. Oh my gosh. This is no way the engine room. That is pretty dope to be the engine room. This looks like dead space. This is, sounds weird. This AR sounds so weird. Oh gosh. I can't shoot straight, Captain. Don't know if this is gonna hit anything. It's saying it was hitting. No, it's not hitting anything. Oh, you bitch. The door open, Bella. No, that shit's locked. Oh, I gotta do this. I'm hacking into the computer system. That didn't sound right. Uh, hello? I love how the body animations. Also, notice how there's all of a sudden no music, even though there was music a second ago. This game is really that finicky. Oh shit. Michael Bay, bitches! This game is really that finicky, in case you're wondering. It's playable, but it's finicky as hell. Anyways. Let's see. Gonna just both ships are firing at each other. Who took control of the Salako weapon system? I have a feeling we're about to find out. I love how they just spawn in force. And shoot. Bye guys, I'll see you later. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Make it down here. Shoot Shooting those won't do any good. Get around behind them and shut them down. Where's the auto turrets? 
That computer doesn't do shit. Oh, you motherfucking bitch! Oh, shit! I certainly know how to swear. Oh, you... Wait, did that guy... Wait, wait, wait. Did, did I see that? Did, did a guy just yeet it? I forget where to go. Okay. No turret anymore. Oh, we have some music. Oh, you mother... I hate turrets, but for passion, that's near my side. Yeah. Like a passionate baby star. Oh, you son of a dick. I'm gonna be ready. Oh, you self-destruct. One bullet at a time. Now I'm just singing two completely different songs. But... No turret for you, bitch. I said no turret for you. Or you. Oh, you shit dick. I'm gonna piss it. Oh, bitch. I'm the door of the sound. What the sound of my losses. I certainly know how to cuss it. New Year's resolution. I gotta cut less. Who here agrees? Yay or nay? Or do you want me to cuss a lot? I don't know. Did you just say Dave Chappelle's in the house? I don't know where they are, so I'm just gonna do that. When the sound goes round. Wow, this door is busted. I think that's Aliens tech in a nutshell. That bitch is usually busted, even if it is top of the fuck. Did he just grenade himself? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh, he just grenaded himself. This bastard. This beautiful bastard. He did us a favor. Kind of. Ish. Maybe. This, this game. What is this game? What is love? Oh shit, that don't look too good. That that don't look too good. Uh yeah, I Actual, hope we have reached the bridge, sir. <laughs> we made it. You're too late, son. You don't Sir, what the hell are you talking about? You We're don't here. look so good. Sonoko actual. Mayday, mayday. The reactor is critical. There's nothing I'm sorry, sir, but we couldn't All hands, this is Solaco Actual. All hands, brace uh, for impact. It's been an honor serving with you. Godspeed. Well, God. bitch. Guys, we failed. That's basically 2020 in a nutshell. Oh, yeah, we had plans and then they exploded. And the gory graphic quality glory. So yeah, kids, that's that's that's. Colonial Marines. That's that's what that reminds me of. Why are we on the ground? Status. Why are we on the ground? It doesn't yeah. make any sense. We Copy were just that. standing perfectly fine. Winner. I'm here, getting a sit rep. Sulaco actual. This why is where. Why? Come we, in. What over. Wait, how do we Sulaco get over here? Sulaco actual. On the other do you side? read me? God damn it. Winner. This is Sulaco actual. This Glad game doesn't make any right. sense anymore. Sir, we're at the bridge. Just got here too late. Son, don't bother dwelling on it. It's over. We're now evacuating. Oh, the you bitch. Raider 6-5 will wait for you, but goddammit, son, don't make us wait for you. Actual out. Even though we're How far from the dropship, are we? What that in meters or the number of things trying to kill us? Same number? Oh, Door kick! Oh fuck! How is the ship still in one piece? Are you sure about that? Do 
Jabura! Uh, oh, let's go a different way! Yeah, that ain't gonna oh, work. Think? One, this is Raider 65. It's getting hairy shit down here. Are you close? Over. It's getting hairy shit. Two, one, defining close is kicking your ass in person. The NCs are trying to take our drop ship to escape. Get back here. Uh, I am out of here with 20 mics. I'm being advised. Shit's all exploding and shit. Now we'll be there as fast as we can. 10 out of 10, Tyler. Uh. Don't want to fuck up. Eh. No way! Oh no! Oh no! I can't move! Oh fuck! I fucked up! Oh! I fucked up! Fuck! Why can't I sprint? Oh no! Oh well. Oh nice dumb T. Oh shit! Am I actually legit stuck? Oh fuck! I'm actually legitimately stuck. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Nobody saw anything. Open the door! Oh wait, we don't go that way. I'm not gonna go that way either. Yes, yes, we know. It's it's beautiful fire. Fire of our former comrades of 2020. Because they didn't want us to know, kid. We stumbled on something we shouldn't have. Yes, it's called it's called the sea virus. Probably saying that too many times to get demonetized. Demonetized! Then again, I think the stream would automatically be demonetized with the amount of cussing I had said. I haven't even said the banned words yet. Execute and continue blowing the pods! Get Wait. in the escape vehicle! Escape vehicle? No escape vehicles for you. For me! You bitch! No! I want that! Wait, they just entered into the abyss of nothing. Gosh damn. I'm having way too much fun for aliens, exploding marines. Why am I having so much fun with this broken garbage? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Somebody took. This is what happens when you eat Taco Bell, kids. You die and you explode of shits. Okay. That's just bad luck. That was even me. Holy shit, what was that? Fly. Watch the entry! Where you? Incoming! Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> die. Yeah, just die. 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 That was just beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh you bitch! Oh you bitch! You bitch! Oh yeah. What, the, what kind of gun is that? Brr, brr, that? That is so pathetic. That is so pathetic looking gun. That is a pathetic looking gun. Oh hi. This game doesn't make any sense anymore. Hey, the elevator. Bishop, this is Winter. Do you have a read on the structural integrity of the elevators? Affirmative, Winter. They have power, but the damage is unknown. Would not advise. Over. Even though we're still going Trust into me. it. Even though we're still using it. Screw integrity. And then we die. Some elevator music would go very well. See? No. No shit! Oh yeah, he he did. He did. Oh gosh. I'm driving hostiles. Multiple. 
multiple signals all around and closing. I guess we kind of. Okay, I take that back. This isn't the most broken game in the world, although I'm having way too much fun for what this game is. I am having way too much fun with this game, even though back in the day it was a piece of shit. Kinda still is. Oh, you bitch! Oh gosh. But yeah, back in the day, I. Oh, you bitch, you bitch. Right what I'm about to say, I talk. I get cut mid sentence. It's like hell let loose all over again. Okay, where the hell do I go? So back in back in the day, I remember. And again, it could also be because of the hatred hype for this game. Like, the, the hype was indeed that huge back in the day. To where people literally played this and were like, this game is a piece of shit. But now that I'm sitting down and actually replaying this game, almost a decade later, and playing something else that's barely playable, or at least when it glitches up, like, so far I've had a death that was bullshit once, Oh, what am I saying? He had death from bullshit. Now I'm just tripping balls. The sad thing is, this game would probably get praised for not having microtransactions. That's the funnier part. Like in that time, it was this game was the worst thing to come out. And now playing this in 2020, nearly 2021. This game would be considered a masterpiece. As twisted as that sounds, just based off the fact there's no microtransactions. Even though you would think there are microtransactions in this game. It really is kind of weird. Heard the automatic seal blow. Winner, run a bypass! Roger that! Eh, hacking! By the way, that's not how attacking works. Uh um the uh, that don't look right. I hear dramatic music, and I don't like. Oh shit! Oh uh, yeah! Where are we running? I can't see shit. That shaky cam, though. Am I right, my gamer? That shaky cam, though. Gosh, that early to that late two thousands shaky cam. Um, where did we go? I guess we're going this way. Totally not a good place to jump scare whatsoever. No jump scares allowed, please. I say no jump scares. Anyways. I'm having way too much I'm not fun. Sure how long we can keep the PMCs out of our ship. Once those mercenaries put us in danger, we are leaving you here. We'll be best we can, sir. See, that's There's just discrimination. And uh, that's broken. That bitch is broken. That bitch is also broken. I'm having way too much fun for this broken piece of shit. Oh gosh. Do you hear that? Oh, we only got three rounds left in the shot. Damn. What a shame. And that bitch is broken.
Yes, you did saw that. That dead body literally clipped through the wall. Gosh, damn, this bullshit is built in Walmart, I swear. dead. Uh, I guess we go this way. Watch, and we get crushed. They literally forced you to slow down. Oh, gosh. We can't react to this right now. If we don't get back to the cargo bay, we're stuck here. I just can't believe it. Oh, no. That ain't our ship anymore. So dramatic. Oh, you bitch! Anyways, literally al every alien's colonial race reaction ever. Grenades! Grenades! Gosh damn it! Wow, the AI is actually useful. I'm very shocked. I'm serious. I'm not even. A, I'm not even trying to be funny. Literally, back in the day, the AI would be useless. I'm actually legitimately surprised that they actually work as intended. We're Admiral. Everybody move! Get to the airlock. Raider six five, we're coming in. Where I'm actually legitimately not exaggerating. I am really surprised that this, this is working. The, the AI is actually doing what it's supposed to do. Because they would not even kill a fly. Like, they'll just tickle it. Like, tickle me Elmo. Where are we supposed to go again? Elevator harp. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> Alright, bitches, we're going in, Marines. What are you doing tap dancing in the corner, you bastard? Totally not an aliens ripoff. Although funny enough, aliens the uh movie inspired the people for Halo. Doors have an override. Winter, you will need to arm the emergency releases on the cargo bay door. Wait, do we go in or? Oh, we have to do a thing first. No, that we do. Dude, bro, look at me. I'm blind firing like an idiot. Oh, shit. Okay, what are we supposed to do again? That guy, okay. Got eight shots. Double eight shots. Okay, I'm hacking into the computers now. Intense hacking gaming action. My name's Jeff. Even six, my gamer. Do you even six, my gamer, bro? There's no room for the other charge. Get on the crane and make one, winner. Crane. Ah. In action. Terrible part. 
I'm taking that. How many Wayland dudes are in this shit? And also, where the hell did they hide from? So many plot holes. So no grenades. Nope, I don't have any grenades. I'm sad. I am actually legit sad. Computer hacking. Mm. I've logged all the releases. Roger that, Winter. Strap in, and we are out of here. Neat. Oh shit! Now the Xena ones are out. Oh gosh, that clipping. That clipping, though, that is legitimately the cutscene. Late. Dramatic yelling! Oh fuck. Bitch, you suck! Zero stars in Uber! <laughs> Zero! <laughs> oh gosh, did they even rate Uber six, rides five. in the future? Lost two and I'm in a wash. Sounding a mayday. Raider 6-5 going down. Repeat, Raider 6-5 going down. I think that's kind of useless at this point. Zero stars out of ten, no tip. Nada. That was legitimate. That's another thing too, but I should add. That was legitimately all CG cutscene. Even the cutscenes in this game are glitched. That was 100% a CG cutscene that was all glitchy. And oh yeah, and there's the textures. By the way, that's, that's legit yeah, textures. The Jordans, though. What the hell is going on? When you woke with the xenomorph on your face. I told you, it was dead. There's nothing wrong with me. Did its exterior resemble bones, white in color, almost like a spider with a tail? Yeah, my throat hurt a little, but I'm fine. Bitch, you done! Bella, you're gonna die. How do we know that? It happened to Keys. Hours, maybe a day. So dramatic. I'm gonna throw up. So dramatic puke. Let's move. Voice acting. There's 10 a colony out of 10. called Hadley's Hope, not too far from here. Well, what's left of it? Now, shortwave no work for shit down here. So I should we point out, this place got nuked. Um, what happened to it, sir? You think they'd be As a little bit tell, more nuked? Atmospheric processor blew like a 40 megaton bomb. That doesn't sound too hopeful. All we got, kid. Keep moving. Sir, are you planning on talking about what just happened with you? I think it's safe to say that the United. Well, anyways, guys. Oh. Oh. So yeah, that is Aliens Colonial Marines. I had way too much fun with that game than I should. I'm going to I'm going to be making a confession here. I had way too much fun with that game. But as you could saw, now granted that wasn't as badly glitched as I remembered, but keep in mind that at that time that was pretty glitchy. Like people were not happy of how the game run and also just how the aliens sort of ran at you they advertised it in the old days as having all the aliens kind of like oh they're gonna flank they're gonna do all this crazy stuff why did my game boot boot up i turned it off why did uh oh and my game's broke Okay, that was weird. The game just literally booted itself back up. But keep in mind, that was literally back in the day. This game got so much hatred. Like, you saw that, okay, the voice acting's kind of meh. I think my game... 
I'm not even exaggerating. The game just literally booted up by itself. Oh no. It's stuck in a loop. It's literally stuck in a loop. I just quit the game and now it's booted back right up. What's going on? And kids, before it starts it again, I should point out I had literally, I just quit the game. The game is now looping. I didn't even select, uh, um, Sega. um, so anyways, as I was saying, Cloning Marines, the glitchiest game on earth. Probably not now, nowadays. No, totally, Cloning Marines isn't holding my PC hostage, preparing to launch. Why are you preparing to launch? Guys, Colonial Marines is actually straight up booting itself up. No. 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 Oh, fuck. No. 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 Cancel. Stop. No. Stop. Stop. No. Die. Die! Oh no 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 stop just stop why are you the game oh no I gotta delete the game from the files Oh no Oh no I swear Oh no this game is oh gosh I gotta install it I'm not even I'm not even trying to joke this is literally trying to boot itself up uninstall that bitch is that even possible? What is going on with my... Oh, gosh. Did that stop it? Yes. I'm not even joking. I ran into a bug that was literally booting up the game every time I exit it. Ah. <sighs> So yeah, I had way too much fun with that game, but also buggy as hell. Let me keep in mind perspective. So everybody had the hype with Cyberpunk. Um so yeah, imagine that same hype. Imagine that same hype, only tragically, tragically, that being thrown at this game. And at least it was playable as you could see, but it was not as good then either. What was funny about this game aside from the story, I mean you saw the dialogue was not that meh. Dialogue was meh, the gunplay was meh, the aliens meh, the tactics meh. Um kinda Doing some Easter eggs of colonial marines or or aliens, I'm sorry, I should say. Meh. Ten out of ten experience! No, I'm just kidding. No. No. Huh. Yeah, kids, that was Colonial Marines. If I had Duke Nukem, I would show you that, but why do I want to torture myself? I don't I don't know. No. I will say, kids. That's a memory I'm not willing to revisit. And given the fact what has happened this year with 2020 and this shenanigans. Uh, yeah. No, thank you. I am not. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. That was just a iffy memory. That is the weird. Why is it doing that? Oh boy, we're having glitches now. What is going on? What the fuck is going on? Well, yeah, guys, that that was that was Colonial Marines. Um, I hope everybody stays safe, stay sane. Like I said, 
we're here. We're in 20, we're a handful of hours away from 2021. And we're done. Wow, my table is shaking. What the hell? Um, I hope there's not an earthquake happening. If there's an earthquake and I'm capturing it live, it's awesome. But you get the idea. It's, um... We're 2020. Oh, yeah. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the little stream. Comment, like, subscribe, follow all the shenanigans. Happy 2021. And boy, let me tell you. I had some good feelings and I got some bad feelings. But I do regret this 2020. Never again. Never touch. We're going to burn that bitch to the ground. Run away. Erase it like a bad memory. <laughs> Just never again. Memory. I think there was a son, too, if I'm... I'm not mistaken. Isn't there a son? That is something else. Acceptance? No, that's too negative. Negativity is not allowed. We are not allowed in negativity. This year has been negative, but next year is starting it with positive and kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I got way too much gum in back. Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be it for me from night. I'm going to go and celebrate New Year's. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just know I was invited to something. I'm trying to find a song that would be appropriate. This might get me copyrighted, but I'm going to I'm going to play this music. I think it's this one. No, not that one. I'm going to leave you guys with a little song. And we're just going to gun it. Happy New Year's, kids. Happy New Year's, everybody. Glad everybody survived. And stay strong, stay sane. This is... Where's the thing? There you go. Night, fellas. Happy New Year's. Screw 2020!